There are a lot of stereotypes about intuitives and psychics that are out there, you know, the, the gypsies with the turbans and the crystal balls and, and all of that. As an intuitive, I've honed a sense and a skill, or I've honed a sense into a skill to be able to help people. Because in the end, that's really what the, the intuitive wants for the person. They just want the person to be happy, to be fulfilled, and to have a better understanding of their spiritual path. My name's Elijah. I am an intuitive. Um, my name's Kathy. I've worked here at Coyote Wisdom since the store opened. My name is James Wirtz. I do what's called intuitive tarot. Um, I had always realized that I'd had um, a little bit of an ability to kind of know what was happening in my own life. Um, started reading books and studying and realized that, hey, this is something that I can learn to do regularly. For me, um, the cards of the tarot represent kind of archetypes and um, really passages that we all go through in life. So uh, that's kind of how I read them is um, representing, you know, kind of how your past, present, and future all work together. I focus more on medical intuition and um, predictive reading as well as mediumship. In medical intuition, people will come to me usually, uh, usually because they have a condition uh, or something going on, and what we do is we um, delineate the root of um, the energetic imbalance. We get to the emotional um, emotional and energetic imbalance that is represented by uh, the state of well-being or the state of illness. My partner Elijah, uh, he is a medical intuitive and he had a dream that he, we were driving down the street and he saw a sign for um, in front of a building that said wanted medical intuitive and as we were driving down the street he saw Coyote Wisdom and he's like that's the building in my dream that had the sign in front of it. That's the place. And that's how we stumbled across it. So. A lot of their metaphysical uh, properties are attributed uh, from a variety of different religions. Like, um, this is Lapis. Uh, Lapis is uh, attributed to psychic development, priesthood, spirituality, and all of that comes from um, the fact that it was one of the stones on the breastplate of Solomon in the Bible. The beauty of stones is is that you don't need to know any, you don't need to know a single thing about them for them to work. Um, just picking them up, it's almost like um, learning to sing. Um, if you can hear somebody sing a note and you can represent that note, then you've learned that note. Well, your energy system does exactly the same thing. It, it, you pick up a stone and it learns that energy vibration and it can reproduce that energy vibration. So um, yes, it helps to have it near you to increase that. But once you've learned that, you can produce it in your own, your own system, your own body. Some people will use gemstones and uh, gemstones, crystals, and different metals to bring different uh, properties into their life. Um, copper bracelets um, and ours have little magnets on them to bring magnetic energy in as well are uh, reported to be really good for things like arthritis, um, general health, general well-being. As far as the negative stereotypes that, um, that it's devil worship, that it's um, that there's something evil here, um, that, um, that we practice things that, um, you know, curses or things like that. I won't say that some of the people that come through here don't do some of those things. But as far as we here, our goal is, is to help people live good lives, to help them find joy, to help them uh, find a positive view of life. And really, above and all, above everything else, that is what we hope that everybody that walks through our door has a bit of, that they learn that they can make 
their lives better through being present in their lives.